My next one is going to be a uh, taxi driver, man. And the reason I picked this, this is going to be the final scene uh, pretty much in Taxi Driver. And what I like about this is the realism in the way that it was staged, man. This is this is one of the ones that I think holds I hold in high regard because it shows the the reality of the violence that's going on when the shootout happens, yes. man. And um, you know, we're, we're um we're so used to seeing this stuff like like even with the Desperado scene, as fun as as it is, it's really highly choreographed and staged. But a lot of times, man, when guns gotta come into play. It's not so smooth. It's no. not so slick looking. It's 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 violent. It's jarring. Like even um, our character's reaction at this point. Uh, I forgot his name. De Niro's character. Bickle. Um, Bickle. Travis, yeah, Travis Bickle. Bickle. And he's on the edge at this point, man. He's basically going in to save this young child prostitute that somehow he's fixated on. Yeah. And he's trying to save her. And uh, by all intents and purposes, she's been shown in this film to be perfectly fine with whatever the situation is going on, even yeah. though it is. Morally, morally wrong, but he goes up to the pimp, and the first guy that gets it is our pimp. Um, you know, um, Harvey Cartel, played by Harvey Cartel. Yeah, he just and he, guns he, he him. Got right in the belly, bam, which is a horrible That's place a horrible. to shoot somebody, yes. man. Because if you don't kill him. Then I might have to wear a shit bag for no reason. You and that's if me. you still live, because you yeah. can still slowly bleed out. Yeah, it, it, it's brutal, man. Yeah. But, but but that's the first thing. So then he gets inside, and you know the pimp, the main guys in there, and him and that guy go at it. Actually, there's yeah, and it's crazy to me, he man. Shot his hand off, dog fingers. Yeah. So not, not not it's like a um this guy that's running this thing shoots his hand off because he hits him with the with the forty five mm-hmm. caliber, the, the long barrel, man, and this hand just. Boom! You yeah. know what I'm saying. And then there's the, the um another guy in there. He gets it. It's also sh- the desperation of a shootout. These guys are still fighting them. There's there's knives even pulled with this thing, man. It's nasty. It's it's a really gritty, dirty confrontation, man. You and know what really makes it feel real too is that Bickle is is taking his licks too. Yeah, he gets yeah. shot in the neck. Yeah. I mean he's he's getting wounded as mm-hmm. he's cruising through as he's trying to you know be this savior but he's he's finding out that like you said this yeah. is not as easy as it's as it seems mm-hmm. in the other movies he just got shot and, in the shoulder with and, a 38 yeah and and, and he's <laughs> yeah. you know it, it, it it's hard to 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 just take people out like you know yeah, it, they're man. not just one and done i mean nah. he's you don't just shoot them once and then they roll over and 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 die yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying we're, we're all in this little corridor fighting for our lives yes. like, like, as much as i love the john Woo and all that stuff this is really one of the most realistic By shootouts that we've seen in film at this point, By man. Far. For it to come out when it did and and be shot and staged, you know how it is? It's, yes. it's crazy because also what's interesting, he gets shot in the neck here, man. And, yes. and that's crazy. Like it's showing the, the adrenaline and stuff like this that's involved with with like 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 he he knows he got hit, but you could tell like he's so he's unfazed. He's not feeling it. No. Like, and, and most people aren't gonna feel the pain of this kind of encounter until that Rush goes off, you know. What I'm and saying? the other like, thing, goes away. the other thing that's really crazy, that's just man. jarring about this is when it comes to a close. I mean, he's covered in blood. Mm-hmm. Everybody's dead. He saves young Iris, but then, like you can tell, like by this point, he is now got like this severe PTSD going on. The cops mm-hmm. come in, they about to lay him down, and the only thing he does is just, he's like, "Go ahead, yeah. I'm already gone." Like you just, you can see that, you know, he just he was not present yeah. when he was doing this you know what i'm saying yeah. he was mentally just checked out which that also la- adds to a severe level of realism yeah yeah it's interesting to see man crazy crazy film, crazy man. 